Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to back up all MySQL databases by using MySQL dump in separate files in newly created timestamp directory. So let's go and take a look. Here, I have written a script that you can use to create a newly timestamp directory in one of the directory you would like. Here, I am creating my timestamp directory in a root MySQL backup directory. So you can change uh, according to your uh, directory path wherever you would like to create this newly timestamp directory and then uh, what you would uh, what the next part of the script is it will uh, test uh, if the directory does exist um, or not if not it will uh, create it um, the next part of that uh, we would like to get uh, the list of the all the databases uh, from the mysql server on which we would like to take the backups uh, Okay, here I'm using a MySQL just the query you know, on the from the command line. So you have to provide a username, password, and all the different parameters. And here we have a select query. If we run this select query, select uh, this is in select distinct table schema from information schema dot tables. So this is going to give us the list of the databases available on this server. So let's take this uh, query. And if I go to the let, let me open a new query and uh, just run this query on this MySQL server where we are connected, you will see the list of the databases. So here we have uh, almost uh, seven databases. Some are uh, use uh, system databases and uh, some are user databases. If you want to uh, exclude or include some of the databases, you can do right uh, here as well. OK, so we are good here. We are going to go ahead and uh, now next part is uh, try to understand how we take the backup. The eco performing backup database I just add this message every time the backup runs I would like to see which uh, uh, for which database uh, the backup is uh, running um, okay so we have a uh, uh, four first of all we are using four and uh, this is variable where we are getting the list of the databases uh, then we are doing the do loop uh, here it's going to repeat itself uh, till the end of the list uh, so if you have a MySQL dump, then we are providing user. That's a, that's the command actual that's taken the backup. So MySQL dump dash dash user. So in my case, uh, the username is backup user. Same I provided here. So you will change according to your requirements. So maybe you have another username. Maybe you would like to use root user. So provide that whatever you want to, and password. So pr provide the password for this uh, backup user or uh, any user you are using. And then here we are saying uh, the database name. Okay, so take the MySQL dump for this database uh, and skip uh, log tables. If you would like to have uh, more uh, parameters or options added to it, you can uh, with the MySQL dump. So if we are skipping log tables uh, um, and here uh, we are telling the directory path where the file should be created and what should be the name of that uh, file um, so you can see that it will be the just the database name dot sql file okay so now let, let's go ahead and run this on the command line in linux uh, where we have tech brothers it that's my node name and uh, i'm going to go to preferences change the preferences a little bit bold 16 okay log into the Linux box where we have installed the uh, MySQL server. Okay, so I'm going to become sudo here just so we don't have to worry about providing permission most of the time. So if you see uh, on the root, uh, I have, uh, let me show you right here. So I have created this directory. If you watch my previous video, I have um, I have shown you how to create this video, how to change the ownership and all that. So you can go ahead and watch the first video in the list uh, of the backups uh, and then you will find out. Uh, okay, here uh, I'm going to go to the this directory, cd, and go to this directory, ls-la. So it will show us all the list of the... Uh, available files here so we have employee.sql uh, and we have this we can remove this uh, we don't really need to do uh, have these uh, uh, files there so if I clear um, ls minus yeah so and let me see employee okay now I can do tag brothers okay so we are good with this uh, directory right now there isn't anything in this uh, mysql backup directory all right we are going to take our script and run this script uh, 
Later on in one of the video, I will show you how to you know, schedule the script uh, now by using shell scripting and cron tab and all that. But right now, we are just going to go ahead and run on the command, and uh, that should do it. Uh, hit enter, and you can see that uh, it is telling us uh, which database it is performing backup as of now. So you can see it is uh, it took the backup for every database uh, what we had on uh, our server. So remember, we ran this query on the server, and uh, our server name is. Uh, uh, right here, that's our server. My SQL Linux box, that's the name of the connection. But the tech is IT dash node one, that's our server name. Okay, so it ran the uh, backup script for all of them. So let's check the directory now. A new uh, directory is uh, created. So you can see this uh, directory timestamp directory is created. I'm going to go ahead and cd to this directory and uh, then uh, take a look on the databases uh, backups uh, so you can see that uh, the backups are created for each of the database um, if you would like to take a look on the size uh, this is shown in the bytes uh, so you can say du dash ach that will show you the size in the mb or kb so if the file is big it will show you in mb if the file is small it will show you in kb so you can see that uh, the backups are created now if uh, i will uh, just gonna go ahead and say i want to read the file itself so you can read it so what you will do you will say cat and then provide the name of the file and you can see that you can read pretty much all the definition of the tables if there are insert statements you will read that so they, this will give you um, an entire database script uh, so with the create tables and insert statements so uh, that's all for this uh, and thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video